Hello, everyone. Um, so I'm Greek, if you didn't guess from the name or the music. Uh, <laughs> and I will be celebrating American Thanksgiving next week. And I wanted to use that as an opportunity to thank this community for helping transform uh, VMware. So thank you. <laughs> I've learned over the years that gratitude is best given when it is specific. So let me try and be very specific. I want to thank you for being an inclusive community. Uh, when I first came to uh, KubeCon in 2017 in Austin, I was very worried that this would be a toxic uh, space. Uh, but with Gamergate and other open source issues, I was very nervous. It was a revelation. We were so excited that we actually invited Sarah Novotny to come give a talk at our planning offsite to tell us how the Kubernetes community came together. It was an inspiring moment. And over the years, as more and more VMware employees have come to KubeCon, that welcoming spirit has caused them to want to become more engaged, to carry more water, to chop more food. I want to thank you for building an open technology. Um, as a community, we focus on CRDs and APIs. And that enables our users to take advantage of evolving technologies and it also introduces them to the open source centric development methodologies. As a result, we at VMware, when we talk about Kubernetes, are not talking about Kubernetes on vSphere. We're talking about Kubernetes, wherever you want it to be. And as a result, that's pushing us to you have our customers be as close to upstream, to be upstream, to be aligned with upstream, and so that they can retain that openness. And if I could use an example from Thanksgiving, Kubernetes is this te wonderful technology that augments all technologies, sort of how gravy makes all the food taste better, especially the dry, dry breast. I also want to thank you for thinking developer down. Admittedly, at VMware, we tend to think infrastructure up. And this community has changed our perspective. Uh, we look. We now see Kubernetes as a key technology, as a, as a way for all infrastructure to be organized for developers. Today, IT is a little bit too bespoke. And we think with Kubernetes, we can do a tremendous amount to unlock a huge amount of developer productivity through automation. Um, and we believe we can help drive this transformation. Now, the really cool piece about all of this is our audience is way ahead of us. If you look at the chart of developer and operator interest in Kubernetes, based on the activity on Stack Overflow and Server Fault, you'll see that they're tracking each other. And so one of the things that I really love about this inclusive community is as those operators come here, I know you're all going to welcome them the same way you welcomed us uh, several years ago. And you know, I'm just one guy who gets to give this talk because nobody else volunteered. Uh, <laughs> and I'm part of an extraordinary team. Uh, you know, it's just an extraordinary team. And I want to take this moment to thank all of the, v the Kubernetes developers that happen to have a VMware badge. That team was willing to take bold risks. At our years ago, when our containers were still a four-letter word, Adrian Javetsky uh, and his team put together a paper that they presented at our internal tech conference called Radio. And it was a bold paper to re-architect vSphere by our flagship product uh, and with Kubernetes. They were so confident about the paper's reception that they left before they found out it won best paper. Um, and so they didn't know that. But the engineering community at VMware had spoken. They said, this is what we need to go do. Um, but the, since then, so many people have stepped up. And just from my own team, I want to thank Jared, Mark, and Dilpreet for your inspired leadership. I want to thank Tasha, Parna, Monsi, Ben, and George for their tireless efforts. And there are so many other peoples across the entire company, starting with our open source program office, which has been a firecracker, every business unit, every organization, every team. So you know, this has been an incredible team, and I'm just the guy who gets to click the slides. All right, and last, I want to take a few seconds to say thank you for being so much fun. This is an incredibly fun community. And I've got like 20 seconds left, uh, so let's use it to prove a point. Um, I'd like you all to. Put as much energy as you possibly can to thank everybody who has ever made this a great community, who has ever made this a welcoming community, 
And when I say a great applause, I don't mean any of this golf clapping that I'm told they do in the United States. But now, you know, let's, let's be Greek about it. All right, one, two, three, go! Thank you. All right, thank you.